I'm going to do a comparison on not just one, but two Aztecs. I have $1,500 in each one of these. I just picked this one up here recently. And I've had this one for a few months. I really like these Aztecs. Um, but, you know, depending on what kind of model you got, uh, you got different kind of options with it. This one here is a little bit more loaded than um, this one here. It did not come with the um, all-wheel drive or the um, moonroof with it. The red one here does have the optional 10 speaker stereo system here with the controls on the steering wheel. And it also has the optional um, dual climate control here as well. Uh, it's got the uh, traction control button right here and the um, rear hatch button there. And this one came with the um, cooler. This one also has the uh, heads up display and the information center down here. And also uh, down here on the other one, it just says Pontiac, and there's the uh, heads up display unit there. Kind of give you an idea of what this one here looks like on the inside. check out the green one. The green one's a little bit more basic. Um, I believe it was more of a base model. Uh, as you look inside here, you'll see some differences um, that the uh, other one had and this one doesn't. This one here just has a uh, Pontiac logo down there. It does have the uh, display thing there. However, it does not have the uh, heads-up display, as you can see there. And it does not have... Um, dual climate control as well and it only has the uh, base model type of uh, speakers here it does not have the uh, controls in the back um, as you can see it doesn't have the um, overhead console either so like I said more of a base model but still a pretty good deal for 1500 bucks I love these Aztecs they are sweet um, you know what let's uh, see what the uh, tents look like I am each of these and uh, uh, this one here does not have the uh, cooler with it. I want to get the cooler. Um, and it also does not have uh, that cargo tray in the back either. So let's check out the cargo tray in the red one and uh, flip all the seats around. Alright, green one first. Let me just pull this lever down here. This will drop down. Pull the lever there. Flips up. Same thing here. Pull the lever here. This drops it down, pull the lever down there, that'll flip up. In order to remove this, it's easiest just to remove, pull this, and that unlocks those um, hooks right here. And then uh, to get it to lock back in, you just kind of lock it in place there. Also, this one does not have the uh, traction control module on it down here in front of the shifter. The other one did. This is how you release the uh, rear hatch. This is what it looks like with all the uh, seats flipped up. Uh, this one I didn't get any of the cargo storage. I got a few of the nets, but I got them all put up in the uh, storage areas back here, which it does have a lot over there and over there. Now with the base model one, it does not come with the uh, pump here. It just comes with an empty storage. On my other one, it has the uh, pump. We'll check that out here in a minute when I go over the red ones. Uh, we'll just pop open all these... Uh, compartments. Uh-oh, what do we got in here? All those nets. A little more storage in there. Open that up again. Same thing is over here. I got a net in there right now. But it does come with all the same hooks. Uh, the uh, piece where you can connect the um, cargo tray down here which I may do just to see um, what it looks like on there. Right, the tray is in and I'll put the uh, cargo piece in there. Give you another idea of what the back looks like here. Alright we'll go through the cargo tray here. Oh what we got? Got my tent. <laughs> Got some straps, got me a water here, solar water here, bag with uh, probably, I'm not sure if it's a tarp or some of the nets, 
But as you get see, kind of get the idea right there. Here it is with the other side open. Now, uh, one of the features with this is you can just push, push this, push this down here. This slides right down. If you want to get it out, you just pick it up like that and hit it again and lift it up and out. There it is, the tent. I figure I'll put the tent on both of these. Let's see what it looks like. Look at all this room you have here in the back. You can totally lay down all the way from here to the front seats. I got the back seats taken out right there. <coughs> this is the Az tent. Sweet. And you can put an air mattress down here and uh, sleep out. Have a nice little camping uh, RV that gets awesome gas mileage. I got about 27 miles per gallon. Uh, uh, whenever I headed out to California this summer in the red one here in the Midwest to Cali and back I used this tent several times just to pull over and take a nap in it was awesome except this was on the red one let's switch it closed up even got the screen back here that'll fold down even here on the sides this screen here will come down uh, if you want to get a little bit more airflow coming in here it is taken off and put on the red one now like I said earlier in the video it does have the uh, 10 speaker stereo system Pioneer with the uh, controls here in the back, and this one's got boom the uh, air pump with it, and just some storage over here, like the other side for the uh, jack. Now, this one here, instead of having those compartments, it has the uh, speakers, as you can see. Again, the air compressor pump right here, on and off switches. This right here, you just hook your air line to. Another power outlet right there. Radio controls. Pioneer's 10 speaker system. All these hooks to hang things and nets and all that. Here's your uh, spare tire uh, jack and everything for that. A little bitty storage compartment back here. Now to get this to latch, you just take those hooks right there and put them right underneath those round floor mounted brackets. And then you take this and slide it underneath. One's in the back, lock it in place right there. Same thing for this side. Locked in place. Oh yeah, and are they reliable? I drove 7,000 miles in this thing in two weeks um, all across the uh, western coast of the U.S. These are all the uh, national parks I visited along the way. So obviously, yes, I do like the red one a lot better. Um, like I said, I got 27 miles per gallon on this thing, uh, headed out west. Doing about 65, 70 miles an hour the whole way. This one's got a little bit more options. It does not have the um, all-wheel drive or the uh, sunroof like they have option in some of them. Uh, it does have the 16-inch uh, aluminum rims. People did not like this gray cladding on them, but you know what? Dirt rinses off of it really nice. Just comes right off, unlike paint, which tends to chip and get messed up I kind of like that so there's two 2001 Pontiac Aztecs 
Uh, for the kids, I put in these um, headrest DVD players. They're similar in the back as well. Have these uh, oscillating type of vent fans. A couple of different type of um, plug-ins for power. I've got the yeah, cup hold, dual cup holders there on the side. This one here has the um, handlebars with it. The other one does not. Uh, they all have the um, sliding seat belt, except for back here, which are affixed. Let's check out the other one. I'm kind of curious about that. This one here does have the uh, overhead um, uh, compartment deal on it. I uh, I think it's pretty neat. It lets you uh, plug in earphones here in the back and they can uh, listen to something else while you're listening to a different station uh, on the radio up here. All kinds of options. Again, the uh, oscillating fans down here, the rear, couple, uh, whoops, couple uh, electrical plug-ins there. But this one does not have those handlebars like on the other one. There over there. It still does have the uh, sliding uh, seat belt. Yeah, there it does not have the overhead. And still the effects rear. This here does drop down so you can hook it onto uh, the seat belt there to where you can uh, put a shoulder strap over the middle uh, occupant here. These are pretty sweet. If you're thinking about getting one, I'd highly suggest them over a minivan or uh, any other type of SUVs because really, how often are you going to take it? four-wheel driving anyhow unless you need it for the snow and they still get around really good in the snow without the all-wheel. 1500 and 1500. I think I've done alright on them.